I run into a ton of people with business ideas or folks that want to start a business but have no idea of where to start. Like they got the idea of the business, but they just don't know where to start. So in this video, I'm going to give you a solid blueprint of how to take any business idea and turn it into reality. All right, now listen, this is not for the weak at heart. This is not for the soft backbone folks, right? This is not for for y'all, okay? The people that don't want to put in the work. But if you're not ready to put in the work, then you need to go ahead and shut this video off and go check out some other YouTuber who gonna blow smoke up your ass, all right? Gonna give you some fake way to start or it's not gonna take a lot of work and all this good stuff that's just gonna feed you BS. You're not getting that from me in this video, okay? Starting a business or running a business is not for the lazy or the scary. Okay, so with that being said, let's get into the video. But before we do all that, allow me to reintroduce my myself. Devon. My name is Put in Work Burke, a business consultant, online marketer, family man, and a fitness enthusiast. Love fitness, man. Love working out, love getting right, right? Right, as we all should. Now, also, I'm the creator of the Wealth Builder System. It's called the Wealth Builders with a Z System.com. It's the absolute way to make more money, save more money, start your dream business while building a better you. So with that being said, click on the link in the description if you wanna learn how to make money in your sleep. Also, subscribe to the channel and like this video. Okay. Here's a blueprint to help you turn your business ideas and innovative concepts into reality. All right, so number one, the idea generation phase. See, you need to identify pain points. Start by identifying problems or pain points in your industry or community. These could be inefficiencies, unmet needs, or areas of ripe improvement, or should I say areas right for improvement, right? Now, what you need to also have is brainstorming sessions. Gather a diverse group of individuals or work solo to brainstorm potential solutions to these problems. You wanna encourage creativity and don't be afraid to think outside of the box, outside the box, <laughs> right? Also, you need to do market research. Conduct thorough market research to validate your ideas. Understand your target audience, analyze competitors, and assess market demand for your proposed solution. Now, as we get move on, move on to step two, which is the concept development. Now, you need to have like a prototype creation. Something you can kind of look at and say, hey, let's, let's test this out and see if it'll work. You want to develop, you know, what we call an MVP, a minimum viable product, to test your idea in the real world. It's almost like a sandbox test, right? This could be a simple version of your product or service that allows you to garner feedback and make changes. So now you want to create also what they call a feedback loop. You want to gather feedback from potential customers, industry experts, and other stakeholders. Use this feedback to refine your concept and address any shortcomings or concerns. And then you want to formulate the business model. You want to determine the most suitable business model for your idea. Consider factors such as revenue streams, cost structure, and scalability. Then we move on to number three, execution and implementation. Build your team. Assemble a team of talented individuals who share your vision and bring complementary skills to the table. This could include developers, marketers, designers, and more. And yes, you're going to need to pay these people or at least barter, <laughs> you know, because nothing is free in this world, right? Nothing. Next up, you need to set milestones. Break down your project into smaller, manageable milestones 
with clear objections and deadlines. Okay, this will help you keep the ball rolling and keep you moving forward. All right, you don't want to feel like you, you don't have an endpoint to what you're doing. This will help you keep your team focused also and motivated as you work towards your goals. Now, you want to do what they call iterative development. Embrace an, what they call an iterative approach, meaning you want to be able to change things, change things around, move things, try different ways, versions, and stuff like that, right? Because you want to continuously refine and improve your product or service based on user feedback and market insights. Okay, this is this is, will keep your business one step ahead of the competition. And number four, marketing and launch. You wanna create a marketing plan. Develop a comprehensive marketing plan that to generate buzz and attract customers to your product or service. This could include strategies such as content marketing, social media advertising, and influence partnerships, okay? And you wanna also figure out your launch strategy. You wanna plan a strategic launch for your product or service. Leverage your marketing efforts to maximize visibility and impact. Consider offering special promotions or incentives to encourage early adoption. Okay, so you want to make sure people understand that this is like, you know, your launch price, right? You want people to feel like, you know, they're getting a steal, they're getting a deal because they're getting you at the beginning of your, you know, your business. Now, you want to monitor and adapt. So what you want to do is keep a close eye on your key performance metrics and customer feedback after launch. Be prepared to make adjustments to your marketing strategy or product or service offerings based on real world data, okay? Number five, you need to sustain and scale, right? So now we're, we're getting to the, you know, getting to the ending of, of, of this creation, right? You create it. So you want to be able to sustain it and scale it. So customer engagement, you want to make sure you prioritize building strong relationships with your customers through exceptional service, ongoing communication, and personalized experiences. And you wanna scale, but you wanna do it responsibly. As your business grows, focus on scaling operations in a sustainable and manageable way. This may involve expanding your team, optimizing processes, and exploring new markets or revenue streams. And then stay in no beta, okay? Never stop innovating. Consistently seek out new opportunities for improvement. Stay ahead of industry trends and be open to exploring bold ideas that have the potential to drive your business forward. Remember, turning ideas into action requires dedication, perseverance, and willingness to embrace both success and failure along the way. But with the right mindset, and strategic approach, you can transform your vision into a thriving business reality, okay? So, with that being said, thanks for watching. If you want this video, you wanna see the actual breakdown of the video, like exactly all the things I was talking about, and I was talking fast, and you know, some of this stuff might be like a little bit over your head or what you didn't expect, check out the link in the description for the blog and go ahead and read exactly how you can do this, okay? So with that being said, thanks for watching. It's the man, it's the myth, the wealth builder himself, signing off for the blueprint on how to turn business ideas and innovation into action. All right, so thanks for watching. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel and like this video. Peace.